www.thechallenge.blogspot.com and yes it's October 2014 and I'm due for my swatches and stuff look at all the stuff I want to talk about today and I'm sorry I'm in the guest bedroom I am in and out of the sun let's start with from top to bottom as always let's start with the hair um, I can't really oh man this is really bothering me let me move back a little bit Hold. okay I think it's better is it better I don't know anyway let's talk hair I, you know I get really curly hair and of course I blow dried my hair straight this morning it's kind of like wavy now but you know I can't really demo what I wanted to demo but anyway I found these at Harman Cosmetics you know the discount thing that's attached to um, Bed Bath and Beyond and these are called curls one of them still has the price they're about $10.99 or $11 per pretty heavy lots of content so let's start with this one this is creme brulee whipped curl cream right and it smells just like creme brulee yeah pretty much and this is supposed to be um, a cream styler used to define and moisturize curls without hold formulated with certified organic ingredients so this is all organic stuff no sulfate, silicones, parabens, artificial oils, colors, or fragrance. I like this. This is actually pretty good. I used it this morning on my wet hair when I blow dried, and it's it's not heavy. I used it on curly hair too, but it feels like it's kind of not holding my hair, but at least shaping it and keeping the shape, and it's nice and silky. It doesn't give you a shine, uh, and you may have to put some shine stuff afterwards. But overall, I think this is pretty good. I mean, my hair, you see that, looks pretty, you know, nice and bouncy. On curl, by the way, it's very nice as well. Because what I do most of the time when I go to work, unfortunately, I don't do this. I don't have time. I just, you know, let my hair air dry. And being in the car, now we have the um, hot air going through. So it's kind of like blow drying my hair as I'm driving. I have a 30 minutes, 40 minutes commute. So it works pretty good because what I do is that I just keep on, you know, tousling my hair with the vent going on, which is terrible for my skin because it dries it. But this is actually holding the curl shape pretty good. It's not giving me like a kinky curl or anything like this, but the freeze is gone and it stays on pretty much all day and it's manageable. I can put my hand through my curls and kind of like puff them up a little bit. Pretty good. I like that. Would I repurchase it? I don't know. I got to see. I've just played with it three or four times so far. I bought it last week. Um, I like it. Curls. Creme brulee whipped curl cream. And the second product that they had was this thing here that's called Lavish Curl Moisturizer. And it's still by Curl. And again, this is $11. Second Curl Refresher slash Daily Leave-In. Okay. Moisturizer formulated with certified organic pomegranate fruit extract aloe leaf juice and yojoba oil uh, nature's purest oil proven to moisturize detangle and protect so bottom line is that again this is paraben free no sulfate um this is like a liquid see that um it's yeah it's like a liquid but like aloe vera kind of liquid it's not a gel but it's definitely a little bit thicker than regular water uh, and you just spray it on in the morning after you know you washed your hair the day before and just crunch you know your hair the one thing I like about this is that it leaves my hair really nice and shiny so in combo with this this works pretty good it rev revitalizes my hair basically for the second day the only thing I don't like about this is the spray bottle really sucks it does it just gives you that blob thing um, so you're better off spraying it over your hand and then you know spreading the product on your hands and just applying it like this because if you try to do it directly onto the hair this thing is just going to give you like a big goop on one side and and you know you'll have a heavy curl here and a little frizz on the other side no not good not a good look all right so this is curls lavish curl moisturizer i kind of like this too um the two together pretty nice i don't know what this one smells like ah might as well show you see i don't know if you saw that I don't know. See the shine on this? Right. I'm going to put some in the back. Always start with the back, otherwise you're getting all the product on the front. And it's going to make your hair heavier. You see the shine on this? Right? 
it's pretty good. I like that. They're all pricey, but they're very, very large sizes. I've paid way more money for smaller stuff. Okay, next, um, we're going to talk about the body. Um, I'm winterizing my skin. I have a lot of Bath & Body Works, um, you know, cream and lotions and things like this. When we enter winter, usually those lotions are not strong enough or at least moisturizing enough for me. I still use them, but I would layer them over another moisturizer for my skin, just for the scent factor, not, you know. Um, so I was looking for uh, my good old trusty Vani Cream Soap and I was able to find it again. It's not everywhere. It's usually at the drugstore. Vani cream cleansing bar right here. The soap is upstairs, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna show you soap I've been using. It comes out as a white, very big bar, kind of like a dove bar. This is a great soap for the winter. It doesn't lather a lot, um, but it's very moisturizing. And I find that as the weather changes, we're getting more and more wind. The back of my legs and my thighs and my calves starts to get crocodile skin and get itchy from you know the change of season the cold and also a little bit of allergy because of the falling leaves so I need to when we enter the cold weather season I need to up my skincare or at least you know shower routine to something that's a little bit heavier and more moisturizing so usually I go for Vanny cream and this is a very very good soap you can use it on your face as well um, I've used it on my face before with my Cryosonic it works beautiful doesn't sting your eyes or anything and it does a beautiful job doesn't leave a, a greasy residue it rinses well but again that depends on what kind of water you have if you have hot water soft water so the hot water would get rid of it pretty fast the soft water you may have to you know work a little bit it's dermatologist recommended i like it vanny cream and they have the lotion available as well and i used to love the lotion but for some reason and maybe it was the batch, I'm not sure. I went to the store the other day and smelled it and it really smelled yucky. I was just, nah, let me find something else. So, for body, I went back to what I used to um, apply a long time ago, and that's Nivea. Well, you can get any more classic than this. Um, this is essentially enriched body lotion, dry to very dry skin. If you take a hot bath in the evening and you put that on, the hot bath is opening your pores. You just put that all over your body and you go to bed. Not only does it smell wonderful, but you really, really are moisturized. So, if you like Nivea, the original one that comes in the uh, now plastic um, can. It used to be a, a tin can. I think they still do that, but in the small uh, version. It's the same scent. And by the way, talking about scent, I went to, I guess it was CVS about that or Walgreens. It doesn't matter. It's drugstore stuff. And I kind of like smell every single body lotion they have out there that's super, super moisturizing. You know, like the Jergens super ultra healing kind of lotion. They all stink to me. I don't know what's going on with them, but they've changed the formulas. I couldn't find anything that was actually a pleasant scent. Everything had like some kind of either unscented or smelled industrial or was totally overpowering as a scent. So to me, this is just a classic scent. It's the classic formula, very nice. It's not too thick, it's not too fluid. It applies on well and it does the job. So get you some, really. Nivea, can't go wrong, classic. All right, uh, eye makeup remover. I got this at Ulta. I was looking for an eye makeup remover and I don't usually like the kinds that have oil in it, but this one promised not to leave a greasy residue. This is called uh, Just Release Me by Philosophy and you see it's got like two layers. So basically you're supposed to shake it, right? And you get this thing. Um, it's all right. I don't think this is a great eye makeup remover. If I have to go on a second time to remove my mascara, obviously you're not doing the job. This is called the Dual Face Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover from Philosophy. This was like $15. I'm going to finish it but won't repurchase it. I don't think it's great. Um, can't beat the Lancome one. All right, where I'm at. Uh, let's talk about makeup. You remember last time I talked about a palette that I bought from Coastal Scents that was all shimmers in purple. It was called the Winterberry Palette. If you didn't see that, the link is down below. So of course I had to go back because 
I thought that these were really, really good eyeshadows. And you can customize your own palette. So when you go on the website at coastalsense.com, you can buy this case right here. And it comes with the setting for up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 eyeshadows. And these are the ones that I picked. So, of course, I don't have the names for them. What I was really looking for was creating a palette that was all mattes, just purples. And I got pretty much all of the matte purples and lavenders. Oh, the sun! Mm. I got pretty much all of the mattes in that range, but there were some that obviously I had to get a little bit of shimmer. So let me just swatch them for you real quick. Um, I'm going to start with this. And by the way, these I've been using wet. Let me get a closer look. See that? And I'm using the this one right here and this one wet on my eyeliner. And they are wonderful. Alright, so the first three is like a deep orchid, kind of like a uh, indigo and definitely a lavender. This is what they look like. See that? Let me put them right here on my hand. Ugh, oh, I wish I didn't have so much sun. It's horrible. Alright, so that's that. Very, very pretty colors. Love them. The next three are a little bit lighter. They're still in the lavender and orchid range. It's this three right here. So I have this one, this one, and this one. And some people find them to be very um, chalky. See that? They're so pretty. They really are. Um, here they are. Look at this. Beautiful. Uh, I have the wrong lighting for this today. Um, really, really nice. So some people find them a little chalky. I don't. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just being gentle with my brushes. I find that they are uh, very pigmented. They stay on a long time, especially if you have a primer underneath on your eyelids and then um, kind of set them with a, uh, a beige tone. Or because that's what I did here. I don't know if you can see there's like some shimmer and I thought the shimmer was just too much so I just put a, a, a kind of like a creme brulee all over my eyelid after I was done. It kind of sets it and mute it a little bit. I, it works for me. So the next one is this um, and this one I think is called Periwinkle. It's Periwinkle and then there's like two shimmers in the uh, taupe kind of range right here see that so there's a little bit this one is a flat um, this one is a matte these two have a shimmer really really pretty colors um, the pyramid call is a little bit too blue for me I thought it was gonna be um, a little bit more of a lavender but it's not so I haven't used that one too much and then I got some uh, peaches right here so this one and this one very nice color as well and there we go. This one right here is absolutely gorgeous. So, I really like those. And to be honest with you, they were on sale. I paid 99 cents per pot. And they are magnetized. I told you, I showed you that the last time. So, you can, you know, take them out and put them back in. Or interchange them or create your own palette. So, go on the website, check them out. I really like Coastal Sand. This is some heavy-duty case. Um... And I think that all together, the the, uh, um, the case itself, I think, was $8.95. And then each one of them was $0.99, cents, so I got 12 So I think that at $22 with the taxes and the shipping was free. So where else are you going to find a great palette like this for $22? Bucks. Then I saw that they had the 10 blush palette. So that one is already set up for you. It's got 10 blushes, large sizes. And by Coastal Scent again, and I think this one is $14.95. It doesn't give you the name of the uh, um, the blushes. Um, and here they are. You get eight, no, ten of them. You get ten of them. And they are beautiful. I'm wearing this one right here today on my cheeks. And I'm wearing this one right here as a bronzer and kind of like... Um, you know, 
contour. These are absolutely beautiful. They are very, very pigmented, like seriously pigmented, like for instance, like those two right here. And I hope you can see the uh, color. These are really, really pigmented. Like you have to be very careful. You put it on you like, oh my God, what did I just do? Um, so we got these two right here, right? Then this two that are a little bit more in the uh, peach and apricot color right here. Then this those two that are more in the uh, coral um, tone, I guess. Those two right here. Very, very pretty colors. And then um, this one right here is a, uh, it's got a little bit of a shimmer. This is almost like a orgasm by, uh, well, my fingers are still wet. NARS, see that? So it's got a little bit of shimmer. The other one is more of a um, cool pink tone fuchsia with a little bit of blue in it. And I'm trying to get my fingers to dry. And then the last two are definitely bronzer and contour type. And I'm going to put them on. The, well, I'm going to put them right here on my hand so you can see what I'm talking about. See? Really, really, uh, really nice colors. This was fourteen ninety five. I don't think you can beat. I don't think you can beat the price. Fourteen ninety five. You get ten really, really big uh, sizes, and in it is one, two, three, four, five. Um, it's about six shimmers and four mattes. Very, very nice. Like it. Another blush. This one I call Laura Mercier in my last video. It's actually a Laura Gallo. If you caught up on that. Um, this is the first time I buy one of her products and I just it was really out of curiosity I had a big coupon to go to Ulta and I was like all right let me try this because um, everybody's raving about those these are called the uh, baked blushes blush and brighten in tropic hues it's a big big size you see that really really nice and I have to say I actually like this um, Here's the color, big, big time shimmer. I'm gonna put it right here. See the shimmer on that? It's a, uh, um, I don't know how to describe that. It's got a little bit of an orange. I'm gonna put some on my cheeks right here so you can see what I'm talking about. You see the shimmer? It's a, it's a highlighter and a, a, a blush at the same time. Um, it's a very, very good quality. I think they're a little pricey. I can't remember how much it was. Original price, I think, is $32, something like that. Or maybe $25. Don't quote me on this. I can't remember. Um, so I think they're a little pricey, but they are worthy. The quality is very, very good. This was the only color, actually, that I liked in the series. And I think there's only maybe five, not a lot, of those baked um, blushes. So you probably can see it a little bit better now that I don't have much of a light in the room. It's got a, uh, it's a marbleized, there's definitely a gold in it, uh, some brick color, some uh, apricot, some coral, not too much pink. But I like the fact that it has a highlighter in it, so for the holidays, it's pretty cool. Next is uh, nail polish. You guys have been absolute uh, darlings. In the last month video, I was talking about how I discovered China Glaze nail polishes at TJ Maxx and I didn't know where to get them and a lot of you uh, PM'd me or just responded in the comment below and uh, um, let me know that I could get them at Sally Beauty so of course what did I do I rushed to Sally Beauty and I found them and they uh, I can't remember how much they are I think they're like the same price as Essie um, and they had quite a large range. I mean, they really, really had a lot of different colors. And a lot of colors I would never wear, like dark blue or um, green, things like that. But they did have a lot of wearable colors. And I love every single one of them, at least the ones that I picked. So the first one I picked, and I was wearing it in my last video um, when I was packing for Ohio. This one is called Fifth Avenue. It's this right here super super classic beautiful and they are a little fluid for me but they're very manageable and they apply beautiful you can just go and have one coat and the rest um you know is history and you just put a top coat over it or you can do two coats if you want it to be more opaque but i think that one coat is is good that's the job if you're on the rush uh this one is called all aboard 
and it's kind of like a uh, matte, not a matte, it's a uh, non-shimmer type purple. Really like this one as well. This one, absolutely love it. This one is called uh, Nice Caboose. It's this purple with a hint of gold shimmer in it. And I'm not sure, but I think this may be part of their um, The Giver or The Given something collection and I have no idea what it is if it's TV or movies I don't watch TV no idea but if you watch it or if you know what it is um you know what I'm talking about all right and the last one is rich and famous and it's a pretty pink um it looks a little bluish here but to be honest this actually comes out as a little bit too neon for me I like it it's not definitely not a full color not a, it's not um I definitely wear that in the spring but anyway I like them I like China glaze um, I was very glad I discovered those so that was for nail polish let's talk about the stuff because this is swatches and stuff right okay I seen on TV the potato bag have you seen this thing so it's basically um, kind of like a quilted type like a um, what do you call it the hand thing that you uh, pot holder all right so it's like a uh, it's basically two pot holders put together with a little lip thing here to close it, all right? There's nothing proprietary to it. It's just two pot holders sewn together. And if you don't like it as a red, you can turn it around and get it as a, um, um, what do you call that fabric? I can't remember. All right, so anyway, so you can do it that way as well. Um, but let's just go back to the red. I can't remember the name of the pattern. All right, whatever. Okay, so what does it do? Uh, you're supposed to be able to bake a potato in this thing under four, at four minutes. Okay, or a little bit more depending on the size of the potato. So how does it work? You take your potato, you wash it good because you don't want to have the uh, the dirt and stuff. Because trust me, that stuff was would leak through the bag and then you have stain and it's gross. Um, you wash your potato. You don't cut it or anything, you just a whole potato, you wrap it in paper towel, and then you put it in the bag, you close the bag, you throw that in the microwave for five minutes, and then when you open it, you'll see a whole bunch of steam come out, and you have a big potato. So I did it the other day. It works when you only have one potato in the bag. When you have four potatoes in the bag, you pretty much have to do like six minutes. You have to do four minutes, then you let it sit for a while, and then you do two minutes or another minute or whatever. And still at six minutes with four potatoes in the bag, I didn't find that the potatoes were all cooked all the way through. But when you just want to do one potato, it worked. So for once, Potato Express, as seen on TV, this stuff works. But it doesn't work as good as they say it does. So I think what I'm going to do with this, oh, here's the instruction. Place one to four washed potatoes into Potato Express and close the flap. Place the Potato Express in the microwave and cook for four minutes. Carefully remove Potato Express as a liability in case somebody gets burned and sues them. From the microwave, then carefully remove potato. Enjoy. That's step four. Um, yeah, this is all right. But I was thinking, hey, why don't I just take that to work? Because I have a microwave at work. I have one in, not in my office, but I have a microwave. I could take a baked potato for lunch. Why not? Um, put the potato in there at work. You know, put it in the microwave, put it on the plate, open it, put a little bit of, uh, you know, whatever I bring on the side. A big potato is four points in Weight Watchers, and it's actually quite filling, and it makes me feel like I'm not on a diet. So, this is all right. Um, it's $9.99 or $9.95 at, uh, where did I get this? I think I got it at, um, oh, I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, it's all right. I mean, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never tried a baked potato in the microwave without a bag. I also I wouldn't be able to tell you whether it makes <clears throat> any kind of difference. But I thought actually my mother-in-law uh, hooked me onto this because she made us baked potatoes in a bag when we were in Ohio, and um, I thought it was pretty cool. So I saw it at the store. I was like, hey, I'm gonna get me one. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. All right, last is the latest issue of Better Homes and Garden. Um, which is this one right here, and I had water on it, so it's all messed up. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is the November 2014, the $3.99. Uh, I'm a subscriber of, um, 
Better Homes and Garden. And I think I got the subscription for free. And for some reason, they keep on sending it to me. And it's been three years. Um, we're not telling them that. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll pay for it. I don't know why. Unless somebody sends it to me as a gift. And I can't figure out who. Because I've been saying, don't send me a uh, subscription to magazines. Because I really don't have time to read them. But anyway, and I don't usually like this magazine. Because it's I don't like the paper. It's way too thin. And... It smells weird and there's just way too many ads. But this thing right here, this particular one, was absolutely their best. There wasn't a page in there, aside from the ad, that I didn't like. There's a lot of decoration um, things. And this is uh, totally my style on top of it. And I guess that's why I liked it this time around because they just showed so many, I'm going to try to find you another one, so many interiors that are um, the kind of interiors that I like. I, I was, I don't know, I was flipping through this the other day. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this one. <laughs> What is that? Real easy holiday baking. Pumpkin seasons, a pumpkin pie with caramel cranberries and pecans on top. Ugh. Anyway, there's some recipes. Um, I just, yeah, get yourself, if you're not familiar with it, get yourself a copy of um, Better Homes and Gardens before they move on to the Christmas one. Because the November one, I thought, was really, really, really good. Um, there was some really good articles in it. Um, they talked about, um, you know, it's all about fall and, you know, whatnot. I'm not going to show you the whole magazine, but look at this. Isn't that a beautiful interior? I love this print with the big tree. And then they put some um, cranberry, or whatever that is, bushes stuff and a round table. And this will almost look like my chairs. Anyway, really like this one. So grab a copy if you can better homes and garden all right um no giveaway i mailed the other giveaway from last month for my birthday i sent that to hiba in egypt because my giveaways are international thank you for watching i hope you like my reviews let me know thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you later bye